Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we will be making this awesome check print bikini inspired by the Kylie Jenner uh, check print bikini. Before we get into today's tutorial, you know I gotta take care of the housekeeping. So make sure that you're subscribed to this channel and that you also have your notification bell on so that you can be notified every time I post. Also, if you would like to shop my patterns, my physical designs, my stickers, my crochet pattern journal, everything else that I have to offer, head to the description and all of the links to my website and my Etsy shop are down there. And the links to my other social media pages are down there as well if you wanna see your girl on other social media platforms. Now that that's done, let's jump right into the tutorial. So I'll be using this color. Um, I don't, I think this color is called Tropical Pink from Hobby Lobby. And I'll also be using this, I think, just regular pink from also from Hobby Lobby with a 4.5 millimeter crochet hook with my chunky boy on the end to help my hands not hurt. So with our first color, we're gonna make a slip knot and we're gonna chain 29. I will put all the uh, ch different chain amounts for the different sizes right here on the screen so that you can know what chain amount you need for your size. But for a size medium, we're gonna be chaining 29. Okay, so once you've chained your chain amount, we are going to place a half double crochet in the third chain from the hook. So this chain right here, going to place a half double crochet in it and then we're going to do three more half double crochets with this color now here we're going to change colors while we have the three loops on our hook for our last half double crochet we're going to get our next color loop it over your hook Pull it through. You pull it through the three loops on your hook. And then we're gonna continue. And we're gonna make four more uh, half double crochets. And on the fourth one, we're gonna change colors again the same way we just did. So let's do three. One, two. Also, I forgot to mention that I'll be tucking these colors, these strands, into the stitch, like so. So to do that, all you're doing is when you yarn over and go into the stitch, when you pull from your working yarn, you wanna make sure that your working yarn is over the strands that you are trying to tuck and pull through. It's actually really easy. I have a more in-depth video of how to do this um, on my channel and I will put the card right here so that you can have a slower tutorial on how to tuck the color. But we're going to continue. And now we are on the fourth half double crochet. We have the three loops on our hook and we're going to switch back to the first color and pull through all three. And then we're gonna do four more with this color. Here we are on the fourth half double crochet of that color. You drop that color, pick up the next one, pull through all three. And then you're just gonna continue to do that, doing four half double crochets of each color all the way across the row. And I'll meet you guys when we get to the other end of the row. Okay, so we have gotten all these stitches done. There should be four stitches of each color with the exception of the first three half double crochets because that chain two that we skipped those two chains that we skipped at the beginning of the row counts as a stitch so we should have 27 half double crochets plus that two chain that we skipped 
which would mean we have 28 stitches all together. So for the next row, we're going to chain one, carry this color across the back, keep it on top like this of the work. Then in this second stitch here, not the first stitch, we're skipping this first stitch. So in the second stitch here, you place your half double crochet. We're skipping this first stitch because we are going to be decreasing at the beginning of each row. So we have that one half double crochet, then we do two more and we change our color and half double crochet, the pink over the pink. Change your color. And continue to do the same thing across the row. Now we're at the end of the second row and this is what it should look like. In this chain two that was at the beginning that we skipped, so we're going to make sure that we put a stitch into that second chain from the beginning chain two. So after we made that stitch in the second chain from the beginning chain two with our color B, that's what I'm going to be calling it from now on, we're going to chain one, and then turn your work. You're gonna skip this first stitch right here, and in the second stitch, we're going to place a half double crochet with color B. Then we're gonna place two more half double crochets and switch our color. Oh, I didn't carry, didn't carry the cover across. So I'm gonna go back and make sure that I'm carrying that color. Make sure it's on top of the row like this. Skip that first stitch into the second stitch, half double crochet. Do two more half double crochets. And then switch colors. Then we're gonna be, then we're gonna continue placing half double crochets all the way across the row but make sure that we are doing the opposite color order that we did from the previous row. So I wanted to also mention, in addition to making sure that we are decreasing at the beginning of every row, we are also going to be switching the color order every two rows. So we're gonna do two rows with the color order of B, A, B, and then we're gonna switch it back to A, B, A, B, if that makes sense. So we're at the end of the row again. We're gonna chain one with that same color we ended with, carry that color, the opposite color across the top of the row, skip this first stitch and into the second stitch, half double crochet. Now we're gonna do one more half double crochet and then we're gonna switch colors. And we're just going to continue with the same color order from the previous row all the way across. So now we're at the end of the fourth row and it's time to switch our color order. So on that last half double crochet, we're gonna switch colors again and finish off with the opposite color. We're gonna chain one, turn our work, carry that yarn above and across the top of the row, skip the first stitch and into the second stitch, place our half double crochet. And 
and then continue to half double crochet across the row, making sure to switch colors. And we're gonna continue to do this, making sure to decrease at the beginning of each row until we have two stitches left. So I will meet back up with you guys once our triangle is pretty much done. Also, make sure you don't forget to switch your color order every two rows. Okay? Okay. So we're on the last stitch. And we're going to turn our work. So those are the two stitches I said we would meet up at. Um, turn our work and we're going to finish off with one more half double crochet. And then we're done. So this is what it should look like so far. And now we're going to do a border all the way around the triangle. And we're going to do a uh, single crochet so we're just going to chain one and then along the side we're going to do um single crochets Okay, so when you get to the bottom corner, you're gonna place three single crochets into that one corner. Then continue to place one single crochet in every stitch along the bottom of your triangle. So once you're done placing single crochets along the bottom, you're going to place three single crochets into that corner and then continue to place single crochets along the side of the triangle just wherever you see fit I don't have a specific like area that I just stick my hook through I just try to keep it as even as possible Okay, so we're approaching the top of the triangle, and when you get to that topmost stitch, we're going to slip stitch, and this is what it should look like. And then we're going to chain a strap. I know that some people don't like chain straps. I don't mind chain straps. However, you can always go back down and place a single crochet in every stitch and that will make the strap much thicker. So that's just a different, another option if you don't like chain straps. But I like to do a chain strap of about 70 chains. Okay, so here is the finished triangle. Um, I did my 70 chains and then I just clipped my yarn and bind off. And then to make the other triangle, you literally just repeat every step that we did for this triangle. So I would suggest going back and then following the tutorial exactly again and make another triangle. Ooh. Oh my God, what is that? I messed up right here actually. I said, oh my God, the pain this woman must be in. Actually, I messed up right here, but we're gonna pretend that I didn't. We're gonna pretend that I didn't. Let me just go in the bush and weep. Let me just go in the bush and weep. I just have to go in the bush and weep, really. Okay, so I fixed the issue and this is what the final triangle looks like. Once again, you just go back 
and I'll just go back and repeat the same steps we did for this triangle to get the next triangle and then and then your triangle top will be complete so I'm going to complete the next triangle off camera and we're going to skip straight into the bottom so the good thing about this tutorial is that for the bottoms we will be doing the exact same thing we did for the top so we're going to start off with our first color We're going to chain 29 in the second stitch from the hook. We're going to place our first half double crochet and then we're literally going to do the exact same thing we did for the top. However, we are going to stop once we have eight stitches. So we're going to do all of these rows the same exact way. And then when we get to that row that has eight stitches, we're going to stop right there. So go back to this timestamp and once again, repeat the same steps that we did for the top and we will meet back up once I have eight stitches. Okay. Okay. So now that we have gotten to, I know I said we're going to stop at Eight, I rolled with eight stitches, but I actually stopped at the roll with seven just because I wanted to continue the pattern. Um, so for the next two rows, you know how we've been doing decreases in every row? For the next two rows, we will be doing no decreases. So you're just gonna do two more rows of the same pattern with no decreases. Okay, so now that we have done our two rows with no decreases, we're going to start doing rows with increases in the beginning. So we're going to do two half double crochets in that first stitch. And then continue the row as usual. Get to the end of the row, chain one, turn your work, place two half double crochets in that first stitch. And then continue the row as usual. We're going to be placing an increase in the beginning of every single row until we have a total of 24 stitches. So we're going to continue the pattern and continue this method of placing an increase at the beginning of every single row until we have 24 stitches. I don't know why I just repeated that twice, but hopefully you guys understand what I'm saying to do. Um, and we will meet back up once we have the 24 stitches. Okay, so I know I said we we're gonna stop when we had 24 stitches. However, I stopped when I had 25 stitches just because I wanted to continue the pattern once again. So this is what it should look like. A triangle on this side that reduces and then a triangle on this side that increases. And this is what it looks like folded. So now we are going to take our first color and we're going to do the same thing that we did with the, uh, the top and we're going to put single crochets all the way around the border of the bottom. So we're going to go down this side, up this side across the top, then down back across the top and we'll be back up 
right here. Make sure that in the corners you're placing three single crochets the same way we did three single crochets in the corners of the triangle top. And yeah, so let's just hop right into these single crochets. So once you've gotten your border completed, uh, when you get to the end, you're going to slip stitch into that first stitch that we made, and then we're going to start our chain straps. So for the sides, I like to chain about 60 stitches. So once you've gotten your 60 chains in this corner, we're going to slip stitch into this corner. Get your yarn. What I like to do to make the strap super secure is pull the loop through and then chain one with both strands and then take the tail and pull it and then do our 60 chains. Don't forget to pull this tail to keep this secure and then in the end we're going to weave in all those ends anyways so don't even worry about that tail sticking out but do your 60 chains and then we're going to repeat that for the next two corners as well and our swim bottoms will be finished um i made a chain that was long enough to fit around my body and also tie in a bow and that is going to be what uh is used for the straps for the top portion so you just want to take this chain and weave it through the stitches at the bottom of both bra cups. I like to use a really small crochet hook to do this just because it makes it a little bit easier for me to pull it through. So what I do is I just weave it through like this, behind one stitch in front the next, all the way across. Once I have it all the way through, I hook the chain on to the hook. And then I kind of just pull it through very carefully because it can catch. Oh, see, there we go. Once again, just pull it through. Then you just pull it on through like so. And then I just repeat the same thing to the other cup. Now all that's left to do is weave in your ends and you have a finished check print bikini. I hope you guys enjoyed today's tutorial. This check print bikini is honestly really easy to make once you have the pattern down pat. If you have any questions at all, let me know down in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them in a timely fashion. And once again, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you. Bye.